Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I posted a video. First off, let me begin by apologizing about that. Um, the family and I have been going through some big transitions. Transitions. Um, first big thing is uh, my son, he graduated from high school. He's off to college. Yep. So we're excited about that. Um, next thing is this beautiful lady here. Uh, this is my wife, Jamie. Um, she hasn't been in very many videos, but yep. moving forward, she's going to get a little bit more involved in what's going on in the property. Uh, one of the major transitions that we had going on is, uh, we, as you guys know, we were living in Colorado on an acre property. We lived in an HOA. And the property just wasn't conducive to what we wanted to do. Uh, we wanted to be able to produce and grow our own food and be sustainable on our own property. But we live in the confinement of an HOA. And they had some covenants that prevented us from having livestock such as chickens uh, and meat birds and quail and other number of things that we wanted to have on our property. Uh, with that being said, um, then the pandemic happened and it made us reevaluate uh, what we wanted in life and where we want to be in life. And with that being said, we decided to actually sell our property in Colorado and we move back home to Iowa and we found a beautiful property here in Iowa that uh, we're going to show you guys. Uh, the property sits on uh, four acres. Uh, nice part about the property, um, our closest neighbor is about a half a mile away. Downfall about the property is uh, closest town for shopping and all that good stuff, major town, is about 30 miles away. Yeah, uh, Starbucks. Starbucks is like 30 minutes away. I'm okay with so. that part. Uh, the only downfall with that is, so like if we want some things, like we want an electrician come out here do some work, it's three three weeks before we or so before we can well, have currently. someone come out. Currently, because yeah. of COVID, yeah, uh, it's about three weeks out before we have an electrician come out here. Uh, we ordered a chicken coop. Uh, it's gonna be a good thing. I found one. I found one. Kudos to her. It's gonna be about three weeks yep. before we get our chicken coop. So there's a some a, some of that's due to COVID, but some of that's just due to where we at. Uh, getting back to the property, uh, we're gonna step out the way and guys actually show you show what we got. All of this, all of our property back here. That's not our property. Oh. <laughs> but I will show you guys that shot over there of the sun. <laughs> that's not us. <laughs> the but, property sits on five acre, uh, four, a little bit over four acres, four and uh, almost a quarter acre. Um, we're gonna has, round up and say five. No, we're not. <laughs> we're gonna be honest. Uh, it sits on four and a quarter acres. Uh, we have currently five outbuildings on the property and a greenhouse. Which one should we show them first? Let's show them my greenhouse. Her greenhouse. I love that. <laughs> now, my wife doesn't have a green thumb, people. I certainly don't. So, unless it's holding money. <laughs> <laughs> so, before I get into that, I'm just guys going to just show you my meat birds. That's one of the things uh was a pandemic purchase in a way. We ordered these uh long story short, this isn't the first property that we were going to purchase. Uh this is actually property number 4, right? Pretty darn close. So, we kissed a few frogs. And until we got what to this property. What? You kiss a few frogs. The the uh, fairy tale where you kiss a frog, the frog turns into a prince. So this turned into a prince. The so other this technically was a frog, and we kissed it, and it turned into a prince. Yes. So <laughs> okay. we kissed a few few frogs. Those fell through. They won our prince. Uh, then we got to this property. So uh, not going to get into those stories. We'll talk about that on a different vlog because that's a long detail. Yes. But we had a property that fell through and we had ordered, went on and ordered our chickens because we was ready to get in and we was going to get in the property. So these meat birds are almost ready uh, for processing downfall. Processor closed due to COVID. We have never processed bird before. Uh, so we, we got to figure out how to process these ourselves. These guys are almost ready for processing. Um, this uh, chicken tractor I purchased off of eBay. Not the best chicken tractor in the world. It does a job. Um, next year I'm going to do a better job build my own tractor. I don't definitely don't recommend this guy. I paid 150 bucks for it. If I would have built a tractor myself, it would probably cost about 100 bucks. I just don't have the, the time as, and right now as well as all my tools for the most part are in Colorado still. 
so that's why I went with this guy because all it was was to do was to screw it together so the greenhouse that my wife wants to show you guys you want to tell them about the greenhouse Amy yeah sure yeah, actually I do it's made of glass yeah and it has electricity so the greenhouse is a 12 by 17 guys uh it's a nice size greenhouse uh she's right it does have electricity it's made of glass welcome to uh, my greenhouse crib come on in what's nice about the greenhouse is it's big enough for everything that we want to do from doing the microgreens as well as our starter plants but we'll also be able to convert the greenhouse over in the winter have some raised beds in here and uh, be able to grow uh, continuous, continuously throughout the winter around the greenhouse we have an uh, apple orchard there's roughly 24 trees here on the apple orchard um, this is where my my honeybees are going to go so they'll be able to pollinate the apples uh, the apples also going to act as a as a windbreak during the winter uh, you can see we do have pine trees back there as well so that's another form of a windbreak but it's really going to help me boost up my my pollination boost up my honey uh, production boost up my bee count as well but what's the next building you want to take them to jamie um i'm going to take them to this side barn right here where i house my uh you know my favorite car so important stuff so this is barn we'll call barn number one this guy right here Numero uno. barn number one is actually going to be let's go this way um actually going to be demolished next year um reason being uh barn number one uh is in pretty rough shape uh and the area that it sits on we actually want to turn into pasture um of course we're going to be growing the meat birds of course we're going to be doing uh um, egg layer birds uh, but eventually we want to get into some bigger animals like no, a llama no cows and a horse no horse <laughs> uh, no llama uh, so all the animals that she named uh, <laughs> not on the list but uh on my list so just, just to go over here and show you guys what we're talking about you can see that the over here part of the roof of the, of the barn has collapsed mm -hmm. uh, it did come with this 1936 Chevy sedan um, we're not gonna keep it it is for sale so if anybody looking for a 1936 Chevy sedan um, or if they're looking for a center council <laughs> for sale call me uh, but anyway, we're going to be, <laughs> we're going to be um, selling this to help finance uh, some of the projects that we want to do on the property. Uh, we also have the owners, prior owners had cows before um, on the property. So we have all these different feeders um, that we can, uh, we can either repurpose or sell yeah. once again to finance some items that we want to do on the property. Uh, came with some poles for fencing which is going to come in handy handy for us but all this wood on the barn it's pretty good wood corrugated steel looks good and we're going to be able to reuse this repurpose it on the property for another project that we have going on the next building, building i should say um the is, is kind of thing. yeah anything yeah. special about this one But it's going to be demolished again next year, right? Yeah. Cool. Well, we, can, we can agree with that. So this is another property, uh, another building that we're going to uh, dismantle, save the wood, save the corrugated steel, repurpose it uh, on another building yeah. on the property. Uh, reason, once again, we're getting rid of these two buildings is we want to expand what we want to do on the property. Uh, we got ideas with, like I said, pasture raising, poultry, and as well as uh, different animals that we want to have on the property. And this is just going to make way by getting rid of these buildings. Going to make way. Well, they also need for, a lot of work. Yeah, they do. 
So. Now this is a building, one of the buildings I was pretty excited about when I came to the property and saw. Uh, this is a corn crib. It's in pretty rough shape, shape as well. But this building here, we're gonna keep. We're gonna repurpose. I'm not gonna get into what we're gonna do with it right now. Just know that we have big plans for this building. Uh, it's not gonna be a corn crib anymore, I can tell you that. Uh, but we got big plans for it. We're gonna repurpose it, make it functional, to be continuing on this one. Building number four. This one we kind of on the fence for, with either keeping it or getting rid of. Uh, yeah. Building number four, if, if we get rid of it, we're going to put something back here in its place. Uh, I feel like we should keep it, but... It does need a lot of work, though. Yeah. Uh, one thing, we can't go in the building right now because we... It has uh, the Dutch style barn doors and they keep blowing open. They, there's no latch, so we screwed everything close. I, we'll go through the window here. It does have a concrete slab. It's not in the best shape, so we really have to report a concrete. That's why I'm thinking it's best to just get rid of the building and put something back up in this place. Uh, this right here is going to be this area, I should say. Is going to be a staple to what we're doing in the property when it comes to our market garden, producing our own food, and the whole nine yards. Um, the prior owners was nice enough to leave us that freezer right there. So what would happen if we're able to rehab this building? We'll put that freezer in there, or if we put a new building in there, we'll put that freezer in there, and this would be where we did everything from processing our chickens, par uh, harvesting our food, and as well as uh, our honeybees, our honey, everything will be done in this, this building right here. Um, and what's nice about it, right off from the building, is where our market garden is gonna be housed. Um, there is some asphalt here. The goal is to rip this out and this is not all year one guys we we can't can't afford it to do it all year one so this is five year plus plan for this property but the asphalt will be ripped out we'll have our hoop house in the middle here and then our market garden all out here we're also going to put another orchard on this side over here the people here at one time did have a garden here you can see the remnants of the garden still That right there is when they had cattle. They would uh, walk, the cattle would get water from here. Uh, there is on the property a well. I did not discuss that. The owner said the well is not functional. He's not certain what's wrong with it. He didn't use it for a long time. So we, we do have the ability What's nice, it shows me that sign that we have the ability to have water right here to water the garden. This is where the, the orchard is going to go over here on this side of the property. Uh, we do have a feeder off of this barn. This barn here is the last structure. It is a old cattle barn, uh, a milking cattle barn. It was updated in 2006. It has since fallen into disrepair. Uh, we, our goal is to get it functional uh, for what we need. Sorry. Should we take them in? Yeah. That old wet weather vane up there. Yep. Yep. Let's take them in. You lead the way. Okay. Hmm. You want to tell them what we got going on in the barn right now? Yeah, we got rabbit. And quail. Go ahead, after you, sir. <laughs> the barn is <laughs> a little messy right now. It was a lot worse before the prior owners did a lot of work to clean it out. Yeah, they did. Um, if they're watching, thank you. Very appreciative. But um, these are all cattle stalls. 
here. And this barn, guys, let me show you here. I think it says when it was built. 1942? Close, 43. 42, no, you know, that's right? 42. June 12th, uh, 1942. Yep. This area back here is what we're using to house our, our quail and our rabbits. Right now, um, it's really cold here. Today is about 30 some degrees, but it's been getting to the low teens at night and then also we've been having some high winds so we put up plastic we got a couple mobile heaters um, to help keep warm um, before the I, the waters were freezing as you can see now the waters aren't freezing um, these guys look appear to be comfortable uh, we have both of those heaters going I just bought a third heater as well that we're gonna put up and mainly it's just to make sure that they water stay they thawed. It's not necessary to provide them with warmth, but keep the water thawed so they can have fresh water. Um, before that, we would come down here what three times a day, three times a day, um, and refilling their waters with fresh water uh, because the waters will freeze up. We want to make sure the, the rabbits get enough water. So guys, that's that's it. That's this is the new property. This is where where it's all gonna go down. No HOA. That we know no, of. <laughs> no covenant. Covenants. No covenants. <laughs> no HOA. No covenants. Uh, we know it ain't because they had they was there to have cattle. <laughs> <laughs> no HOA. No covenants. None of that here. Uh, ro beautiful rolling hills. Where? Right there. You don't see those rolling hills? That's where rolling hills are. They're not mountains. Beautiful rolling hills. Beautiful sunset. Oh, I see the Cl rolling hills. Close, closest neighbors. Half a mile away. Able to be able to be sustainable. I love it. So, just give you guys one last view here. And this right here area, as you can see, my cars. Mm. We gotta do. We've been here for about a week and a half. Yep. So this is where the the barn's gonna go. This is where we're gonna repurpose that wood and put a barn here. That way, again, we can use that area over there as all pasture, and um, we'll be able to store a lot of stuff in here. Uh, pretty excited about this. Um, what do you think, Miss Madison? Yeah, I'm just happy to be back home with my family. I'm hey. your closest neighbor. Huh? I said, I'm your closest neighbor. Yeah, you are. <laughs> A beautiful neighbor. Right oh. So, anything else you'd like to tell them? I feel like you just get my forehead. Um, now that you see me, why don't y'all like, share, and subscribe? And uh, we'll get you on the next video. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. See you later. Peace. Peace and hair grease.